all right this is the infamous circle following cursor effect and i'm gonna show you how you can do it on wordpress in elementor i show you two ways to achieve this effect first one will be a completely free method involving some code and the second one will be very easy but paid method by using an add-on plugin for elementor you can skip to whichever method you want to use or just stay till the end and watch both the ways. It's up to you and here it comes. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is add a section with a one column and then add an HTML widget, two HTML widgets in fact and these heading text button divider icon these are just filler ups i just added so you can ignore these or don't add these but the main two is these two html uh, widgets so the first one in the first one we will be uh, adding an html code here so you can get the code from the description or the pinned comment and then go to the advanced here if you don't have the uh, elementor pro then you won't see the custom CSS option here so for that you need Elementor Pro and if you need Elementor Pro you can get that from the link in the description once you have Elementor Pro you can go to custom CSS and here you will paste this custom CSS here you can stylize it to whatever you want for example um, I can change this from green to red and I can change the opacity you can even do a border radius uh, we already have border radius but you can have instead of background color you can remove it and only do border so it will be like a border circle type so you can stylize your hover uh, circle any way you want next we will come to this second HTML widget and here we will basically paste this JavaScript this is vanilla javascript we are using not jquery so um, this this is what will make that circle um, effect that will follow the cursor all right let's see how it looks this is how it looks on the screen this circle following your mouse cursor like let's look at the front end now yep this is how it looks you can obviously change the code uh, let me show you the CSS let's see change this to red or blue in fact there you go there's changes you can change the opacity here as well you can make it one mm, no let's make it 0 0.4 yeah I like it green better yep so that was one way to achieve this effect by using codes now let me show you how to do this very a much more easier way using a uh, elementor add-on plugin all right so we will be using the plus add-ons for elementor and we will require the plus add-ons pro version here so once you have that installed you can continue if you need the pro version of this plugin then just click the link in the description and you can get it from there once you have the pro version go to plus widgets search for cursor and make sure the mouse cursor is on as you can see this is a pro feature so you need to have pro version for this to work once you have this on click on save and then we can go and create a page All right, so I have created a page here and let me show you how I did what I did so I went on and added a section with a one column and in here um, I made the section height fit to screen you can you can do minimum height and hundred as well but then this filler up text just goes below so I did fit to screen anything will work um, next click on uh, next actually you're gonna add a uh, cursor the one the widget that you turned on then you're gonna drag it here 
and you have mouse cursor widget in your navigator so click on that and then um, what you're gonna select is the cursor area you're gonna select body because you want the cursor uh, the circle following the cursor throughout the entire page and not just a section or widget or column next in the type we're gonna use follow circle for pointer type I recommend just leaving it on predefined uh, for select pointer again auto is good enough uh, because we want the normal mouse then for follow circle style uh, border cursor is what we're gonna use then uh, then we're gonna give it a circle max width now by default this will be probably in 100 100 and 100 but i changed to 40 let me show you how, what it looks like if we do 100 and 100 and 100 by default uh, yeah all right update let's go to the page this is what it looks like by default as you can see the circle is now following the cursor but it's way too big let me scale it down to 40 and 40 again max width and max height update and now it looks much much better too much bigger is not good and you may have noticed that when i hover my cursor on top of this text the circle increases in size now that's because this text this heading is actually a link let me show you uh, this is the heading widget I added and this is the default text and in the link I just added a hashtag which is the anchor link so when you click over this heading nothing will really happen you can add a link of your choice here um, so when this cursor uh, hovers over a link it will uh, transform its size uh, not by itself we have to configure that here so let me show you in go to mouse cursor widget go to style uh, in the style in normal you have uh, scale here you have to write there will be nothing written so you have to write scale uh, then bracket one this one means the default size which is this and then in hover you have to write two or whatever scale you want so um, a hundred percent increase would be great when in hover so when we update that as you can see this is normal size on hover the circle increases you could make it ultra big as well let's make it uh, four just to make you understand how it changes see it drastically changes i'll just make it two again because two looks natural all right yep looks good so this is how you can easily have a circle follow cursor uh, using an elementor add-on plugin the plus add-ons i like the plus add-ons i use it a lot it has a lot of premium widgets a lot of unique premium widgets like this mm, so that makes uh, the purchase of this plugin really worthwhile and this is actually my day-to-day -day plugin the plus add-ons for elementa i use it the most out of all the other add-on plugins anyways uh, these are the settings 40 and 40 um, let's play with the offset um, let's make it uh, 70 on top and 40 bottom let's see if anything happens actually nothing changes that's actually strange that should have worked um, let's make it 70 to see if the negative was the issue or not nope it's still uh, at the middle of the cursor the circle so it seems the cursor offsets are not properly working here i don't know why but let me show you the z index real quick for z index by default it will be on one so if you leave it on default at one when you hover over the link your transform and hover effects do not work because it's literally on top of the hover so if we make it zero an update 
the circle uh, the circle now properly works the transform properties on hover on link properly works and you can click the link but on 1z index it doesn't work what happens if you make it 2 let's see same thing happens as one uh, I cannot click the link and also the transform scale property on hover doesn't work so I recommend just leaving this Z index on zero yep now it works again all right so that was it for this content settings in the style tab I have set the color of the background color to green um, maybe I can set it to blue or any other a random color let's see um, yellow yellow green let's update it so it's now yellow and on hover I have green so as you can see on hover it turns to green which is amazing this is what I wanted um maybe I'm doing something wrong with the offset because the offset should work but it's not working basically what I want to do is um, make this circle a little bit to the right bottom of the cursor so that it looks like it's following the cursor and uh, following with a delay you know but uh, maybe i'm doing something wrong with the offset here um, if you get it working then just leave a comment down below and letting me know and if the creators of this plugin are watching this maybe you can reach out to me um, but the color is definitely working great and I'm very impressed with this plugin It's very easy to add when compared to the JavaScript code method that I showed you earlier So if you are impressed with this plugin go head to the link in the description and you can purchase the pro version of this plugin because you need it to have this uh, cursor mouse effect widget and that's it easy to add great looking effect and that can increase your authority especially if you add it on your portfolio site that's it for this video if you have any suggestions for any other video leave them down in the comments and check out this another video i've created and i'll see you in the next video bye bye